I'm going to show you how to get a separate volume for your headphones and your speaker. Sometimes your headphones only work and your speaker doesn't work, especially on the Dell series of laptops like Dell E 6320, 6430, a lot of these. So there's a way to control your headphone volume separately from your speaker volume. This allows you to have both at the same time. I'll start by showing you the problem and then show you how I got to this point. Okay, so here's the original problem. Your Dell laptop has no volume in the speakers. Some people say it's because the uh, sense pin on this headphone jack is broken and it thinks the headphone jack is being used. In other words, you have headphones plugged in, so there's no sound at the speakers. I don't think this is quite the case, but it does have something to do with this headphones taking over the speaker sound. So here's how you fix it. You go to right click on your speaker icon, go to playing devices, and that gives you this window here. Now go to recording and right click here show disabled devices now in some you have a stereo mix but on the dell you don't have a stereo mix and you can't install a stereo mix but i noticed you have this rec playback which is similar so you show disabled devices okay i did that and then you set that as your default device so we've got to enable it first now set it as your fault device right click and now double click it to go into its properties and you'll see listen and you want to click listen to this device it won't be on at first because i had it turned on and then what you do is go here and it will be in one of these other two options the first two um, and sometimes I'm not sure which one it will be in but go to the headphones option and hit apply actually it's already applied on mine because I had done this earlier but let's go ahead hit apply here okay notice um, if we go to the sound icon or just click it there's only one but if you go to the communication headphones, hit apply, and now I'll come down here. It's still not there. Why is that? Um, okay, it's currently still unavailable on the other screen. So what happens is one of these others is ready. You have to actually go in and right click on these and hit disable. And you could probably do it for all of them if you don't use them. And then click on here and uh, set it as a default. So now it's a default device. Now go to properties on it and go back to setting up listen and then go to the communication headphones or maybe it's just regular headphones hit apply hit OK and if you go here now still nothing and it's still nothing because you have to mess around with these go to the first playback device hit apply and then go to the third one again this is the part that's kind of tricky and I don't know why it's like this. Hit apply. Okay, now when you go to the volume, you get two volumes. One is the speaker and now it's working. And the other is the headphone and it plays through the headphone only so you can't hear it right now. Now, one thing is when you turn off the computer and you turn it back on, you won't have your speaker and headphone, you will only have one volume and your sound won't come out of the speaker again. 
when that happens, you have to go back to this icon here. You have to right click on the sound icon, go back to recording devices, double click on this one again, and go to listen, and go to here and click it on the first one, hit apply, and then click it on the third one again, the communication headphones, and hit apply. And then when you go to here, you'll have two volumes again. Now, this happens if you don't have the headphone jack plugged in when you reboot your computer. If you have the headphone jack plugged in when you reboot your computer, you will automatically get two volumes again and your, your volume will work and you won't have to go through this menu and select the third device on here again. So what you can do is just get an old pair of headphone jacks and maybe cut the wire off and just shove it in your headphone jack port and just leave it in there and then it'll always come up. And that's why I don't think it's just the uh, sensing pin on the headphone jack because something knows that the headphone jack is plugged in and that makes me think that the sensing is is uh, working. So some people say it's a headphone sensing pin that's broken on the laptop. I don't know. It might be a combination, but that's how I fixed it and it seems to work. All right. Hope you enjoy. Bye.